it's a maintenance day on Kingfisher and today what we're going to do we are going to install this it is the NASA Marine EX1 exhaust monitor so what does the exhaust monitor do what it does is it monitors the heat of the exhaust gases that comes out so why is that important well if something blocks the water intake on the engine what happens is um, then the water doesn't get in, doesn't cool the engine and the engine gets hotter. So by using the exhaust monitor, um, what it does, it gives you an early alarm that the exhaust gas gases are getting really hot. And as a result, that sets the alarm off much quicker than what the engine would, because the engine would just basically get hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter before the old, before its own alarm actually sets off. By then it's too late and that's where we get damage occurring. What this will do, hopefully, it gives us the advance notice that something has blocked the water intake and we're able to attend to it sooner rather than later before any real damage is done. So that's the reason why I thought invest in one of these and hopefully uh, we won't never need to use it, but it gives us an idea of what's going on with the engine on the boat. What's in it? So, this comes with it's the compact version, well I think there's only one version you can get. Um, it comes with the sensor itself, um, uh -oh. like so, so I'll find somewhere to mount that. Um, the problem with this is that you can't mount it outside. I would have preferred to have mounted this in the cockpit, but unfortunately um, these instruments aren't waterproof uh, from NASA Marine. So I've used NASA Marine outside before and it's not had any issues, but you know, uh, so I'm going to find a place near the companionway steps, which hopefully uh, will give us enough. Um, yep, yeah, it's going to be clear enough uh, for us to use that. Um, so it comes with that. This is the sensor uh, that it comes with, um, and also looks like you've got a drill bit there with it as well. Um, so you know, again, because what you have to do, you have to drill a hole in the exhaust um, pipe, um, put the sensor in mount it using these uh, zip ties, uh, secure it with that and then lead this wiring and cabling that connects to this cable here um, and that in turn connects to this and this, the sensor. So looks pretty straightforward. Another thing that I'm going to try uh, for the first time is I'm going to use these. Um, I saw these when I was looking for this sensor, um, for this um, exhaust monitor, and these little connectors, I don't know how you pronounce them, um, but I think it's pronounced as like Wago um, connectors, but essentially, instead of using spade connectors and heat shrink and all that kind of stuff, what these do is it kind of clips up like so, you put your cable in there, and then snap it shut, and that's it, it's done, it's in, it's connected. So it's been a few months, um, work, going out sailing, all of that life. Uh, we've just not had that time to do that install. So today's the day, we're back on board Kingfisher, and we're gonna do the install. I'm thinking of putting this round about here, um, purely because I know there's enough space at the back of this panel and it also means I can route the cabling um, at the back here. For those that have seen the battery monitor video, uh, you'll know that we've got a whole raft of wires at the back, but at this point here is where I can thread the wiring through to feed underneath the skipper's seat, underneath the floor, and then that will lead into the engine bay. Simply drill a hole so you can thread this through and then as you can see here these screw in against the surface flush so yeah not too bad quite easy um, and that's something which i'm going to drill into now i'm going to drill here um, and then that's where i'm going to be able to mount this on As you can see, um, someone's had a go at this before. 
Uh, I don't know what this big one is here, but it looks like it was some sort of old radar thing that was going on. And there's a couple of holes hacked out at the bottom. However, I aim to drill under there. So let's see how that works out. If I open up the back access, you can see there is an AIS uh, engine, which is here, but here seems to be okay. So yeah, let's give that a try. That looks like a good spot for it. Okay, so I've threaded the wires through here and I'm now going to thread them under the bilge through there. And if you can see here, there are some cables that are leading to the engine bay. That's where these are gonna be routed. Now we're gonna connect this to the black cable that we have threaded all the way through and into the engine bay. Um, as you can see, it comes with a drill bit, so I've got to drill into the exhaust pipe, which, gotta be honest, I'm not feeling comfortable about that, but from what I've read, everyone says it's not a problem, and it's secured by these zip ties. Um, that's the sensor there, the, ten the sensor is secured to the exhaust. You put it through the hole that you drill, and uh, yeah, measures the temperature. This box, which is connected to the sensor, here, opens and you have to then basically connect these cables um, to this. And then I'm going to run that a little bit further along and put the sensor on. Okay, so there's the exhaust, um, and that's what I'm going to be drilling the sensor into. There's a snug fit, and oh, that's good. Alright, zip tie this up. Really secure. So now I'm just going to zip tie everything up. So as you can hear, the engines are running right now. Um, we've had them running for a little while, only about 10 minutes, just to see that the temperature sensor is working. When we switched the engines on, it was 15 degrees. So let's take a look and see what it looks like now. All installed. Really happy with it. Um, things to watch out for though when you're doing this install make sure that you've got everything planned as to where you're going to route your cables um, that was the biggest problem I had um, trying to basically find how to run the cables from the back of the panels through the bilge and then into the engine room that was the thing that took all the time otherwise it's a really really straightforward install um, and definitely something I recommend because it was already showing 21 degrees just sat in the harbour so I think Having that kind of information is really useful uh, when you're on board. It's just another thing to get, keep you informed as to how the engine's doing and also, you know, again, peace of mind. So anyway, if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe, like, and uh, yeah, see you next time.